Hi, welcome to Sitchin Cuisines. Today my daughter Hanin is joining me. Her favorite dessert is kinafe, and it's a well-known Palestinian dessert. And she asked me to teach her how to make it. I'm really excited because it's my favorite dessert in the entire world. So I'm going to teach her how to make kinafe. So for kinafe, we use the shredded filo dough. Now I'm going to take it out. Honey, you can help me with this step. Okay. Will you break it up? As you see. Now start. You can break it all down? Yes. Make sure. Oh, this is stiff. Make sure, yeah, honey, that. Okay, so how are you going? I'm just like, I feel like I'm tearing it apart. Yes, yes. It's sure. like, you see, it's like threads. So we have to break it up all. Okay, wait. You see? I feel like my hands are getting a workout. My exercise for the week. How do you know when it's done? Just when it's like tiny, tiny pieces? Yes. Okay. You see, it's still. It doesn't supposed to be one whole thread. It's supposed to be small pieces. Is there pieces. a certain kind of filo dough that you use, Mama? Actually, no. Any kind of filo dough okay. uh, you can use. So, Mama, it's really cold. The okay. actual filo dough. Why is it? Did you take it right out of the freezer, or? Yes, we keep it in the, free, the freezer actually until I want to make it. You, it doesn't need to, to thaw. Oh, okay. Yeah, immediately, as you see, and it's easy to break it up. And we are almost done, honey. Okay. This is—is is this like the longest process to? Yes. To no, on? after the next step, okay. step also. Yeah. Okay. Add the butter. All right, all right. So, honey, now our next step will add the butter. Okay. And you know, I'm going to rub the butter with my dough and make sure that it reaches all, you know. Okay, so dough, just hold it. Yes, please. Okay. So, is there a specific kind of butter you use? Because this is actually the, you can use any kind of butter you would like to. But uh, my daughter, okay. because she's a vegan, I prefer to use the organic one and the vegan one. Yeah. Now I'm going to start. Okay. So and I, I, I leave the butter outside, by the way, to melt, you know. Yeah, it seems a little... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will not make wave it or, you know. Okay, I'm just going to spoon it all here. And then... So and make sure that it reaches more. Okay. And then do you need help? It's gonna Please, why not? Okay, then. So how do you do this? You just kind of on both sides, like this. Yes, of course. Because we'll add the oh. coloring after that. So I feel like the filo dough is getting stuck to the butter, though. Oh. Right. But make sure that you are taking, you know, apart. Look. Ah, uh, so we're gonna do the same thing we did in the beginning. Yes. Yes. I'm not usually in the kitchen, guys. <laughs> So usually, I'm the one behind the camera, I'm the one who does the videos and editing, but today, because I really wanted to be in this video, my little sister Baral is behind the camera today, so yay for Baral! So Mama, it's usually pink, I mean, yes. that's what, like looks really like nice and pinkish, yeah. And yeah. how does that happen? This is next step, so we'll add the food coloring. Here. It's like special. Oh, it says kunafa on it. Yeah, it looks like orange or outside, but it will be red actually. But when it's we like add it here, it will, yeah, it will be orange. Please. Okay. How much? Add two. Full tablespoons yes, or please. teaspoons? Excuse me, teaspoons? Two. Okay. Yes. So just kind of like around, like, please. Oh. And now we'll rub it again. Looks so pretty. One more, please. Okay. Yes. Here, hold on. Please, okay. honey, orange. Oh, sorry. Okay. And we'll rub it again now. Is it? Okay. Yes. You see how the color will change? And now it's red, but when we put it in the oven, it will turn to orange. So as you see, honey, now uh, our dough is between red and orange color. It's like salmon colored. And it's a lovely color, actually. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Excited. Now we'll mix the two kinds of cheese we have. Okay, so... So this is mozzarella. What did you do with this, yeah, Mama had me shred it before we started. And we'll shred add... Mozzarella. Yes. And oh, ricotta cheese. So please add them okay. to our cheese. Mix it very well. 
Mm -hmm. And we reach our last step after you mix uh, the cheese. Um, so the tool, yeah. my other sister, uh, can't eat this because she's vegan. I know we use like vegan butter, but um, so it, is there a way? There is a way if you will make your cheese yourself. <laughs> vegan okay. cheese. Or if there's like ricotta yeah, or, or um, the cheese in the stove, that, right. yeah. Okay. Because I know that she can't eat this stuff. That's what I didn't look. Maybe because she likes spinach, huh? I will look sometime and see if they have a ah, here we go. this kind of fish. Uh, All right, so it's ready. Okay. Yeah, both of them, honey. Put this in here. Yes. Ooh, right. And all of it. Yeah, you want to yeah. And then we're gonna mix this all up. Both of them. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna start just so it's little. Yeah, that's why. That's why I pulled out the knife. Okay. So, you keep things complicated on us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. Don't okay. save anything. Okay. All right. Mix it all up. Oops. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Okay. Okay, Mama, it's really chunky and so, I'm having trouble. So, honey, you don't need to use this one. Use it. Mix it with your hand. Uh, okay. Look. I don't get messy in the kitchen. Make sure that the two kinds of cheese mix together. Do you smell? Yeah. The, the cheese it smells so I good. Smell the cheese. Yeah, both of them. Ready for our next step. So now, honey, we are ready for our next step. Okay. Yeah. So here in America, usually I see it in like a rectangle tray, but in Palestine, they're usually like these huge round trays. It's tradition to use round tray, and I'm going to use round tray. Now, the first thing we'll do, we'll put a little bit of the dough. Mm -hmm. In our tray here. So you're going to scatter it and yes. make sure it covers the bottom? Only, yes. Okay. Would you like to help? Any yeah. Maybe you move here and move here. And cover the bottom of our tray. Okay. So is it thin layers, like half of this or less? No, than no, 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 less than a half. Oh, a thin okay. layer because we have to put the thick one over the cheese. Okay, so now just we'll then, see. Yeah. So just now, as long as it covers yes. the bottom? That's okay. it, you can cover it now. Now spread it, please. Okay. It's enough, okay. by the way. This. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so most of it's left mm -hmm. for the top. Yes. Just make sure, as you see, nothing I shows. Think shows. No, the, okay. okay. Just kind of like pat it down or just continue doing this. Okay. Don't leave any empty space, honey. Right. So I just made you wash your hands. It's better not to yes. have butter in your hands before you touch the cheese. Okay. Okay. Now we'll start make the cheese into little patties. Look. Okay. And place them over our dough. And then you're just going to do this with all of it? Yes. With patties, patties, yeah. patties everywhere? And then we'll fix, yeah. We'll fix it, make sure, yeah. You see? Small one. Because at the end we'll cover it with the rest of the dough right. we have. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're just gonna like lay them next to each other, just as big as your hands. Yeah. Do you think it's easier, honey, to make now? What do you think? I mean, we'll see. I will try. <laughs> try. <laughs> we learn by trying. It's okay. My if you mom have and my sisters, yeah. the ones who are always in the kitchen. I'm not, but because this is my favorite, I have to learn. It's okay if we have mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. Yeah. So. We'll continue doing this until we cover all the dough. By the way, the cheese smells so good. Yeah. So, honey, mm -hmm. make sure that you'll, there is no gaps between the cheese. Okay? Okay. So, are you gonna. Yes. There's still cheese left. No, I will finish everything, honey. Okay. See? Good. No. We still have gaps here. We have to cover it all, fill it all. So as long as all the cheese is used? Yes. Now. Okay. I'm learning. Still we are now. I will spread it around. Okay. 
Are you gonna yes. pat it down? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. And I don't leave any cheese, honey. Okay, I'm now. gonna put this in the sink. Yeah. Look. So what do you think, honey? Looks really good. So as you see, there are no gaps between the cheese. Now we'll add our final step with, with the rest of the dough over there. So is this the same as the bottom, but a lot more? A lot more, as you said. Is it is that one one third? This is, yeah, the rest of that. There is the dough, okay. Yeah. And we'll cover, would like to help? Sure, why not? Cover it all, make sure that it covers. Okay. And then we'll pat it down after we put it there. Yeah. And we don't want the cheese to show? Yes. Okay. Like so shouldn't. Shouldn't show, okay. So even if you put it like that, okay. then pat it down. Okay. Well, first we're going to scatter it first. So you oh. scatter them and I will pat them down. I will okay. make sure to cover all the cheese. Okay. Smells good. Looks good. Yeah, it smells really good. Yeah. I'm really excited. So, honey, we want to make sure that we are covering all the cheese. We'll not leave anything of the dough. So, honey, mm -hmm. as you see, we pat it all down, the cheese is not shown, showing, okay. and I want you to preheat the oven 350. 350, okay. Please. Yo. Make sure, honey, to place it in the middle rack. Okay. Mama, is it ready? Yes, yeah? 35 minutes. Now take it out exactly. Okay. Ooh. Wow. It looks so good. It's called my name. Whoa. This entire thing is mine, <laughs> but uh -oh. maybe your dreams. <laughs> she can't enjoy a piece. Where the kinefa was in the oven, you know, I made the syrup. Ah, oh, okay, so it's the other. And you can find the other recipe on our website at stitchingcuisines.com. Yes. We actually made it for the basbusa as well. Yeah. Exactly, honey. Go sweet syrup. And then you're using the coffee pot so you can get... It's easier for me to reach all the sides of the kinefa. I want to make sure that I will reach all the edges of the knife and in the middle. Okay. Smells amazing. So, is it finished? Yes, but we will garnish with pistachio. Ah, okay. And I want you to do it. So, what did you do yeah. with it though? It's not, it's not like full pistachios. Of course, we use the grinder too. Okay, so ground okay. pistachio and then just kind of sprinkle it everywhere. Yes, everywhere, yes, everywhere. yes, and a lot, a lot. So good. This so good. I with love the, pistachios. Yes, looks. It, it is so good with the uh, kinafe. More, more, more. Okay, I'm gonna get everywhere. Looks yeah. like there's a couple of chunky pieces. So yeah. we'll know this pistachio. Okay. Pull around, honey, and make sure oh. that you have all the sides, honey. Okay. Yes, look, the color, the red and the I green, know. I'm so excited. the smell. Okay, there we go. And almost done. It's all up here, here, oh. here, 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 the sides. Yeah, the sides, yeah. This is, this is, wow. So who will take the first piece, you or Bara? Me? Me? No. No, no, no. Buddy, I'm in the video. I yeah, but I need the hard work of filming. <laughs> yeah, I wish people who are watching us can have a piece, a piece yeah. of that. Okay. It smells so, so good, you guys. It isn't, oh, it's not right. only it smells so good. It looks so good and you know, now you will see the cheese when we cut it. It's so good. What do you think, honey? <laughs> it looks really good. I'm excited. It's time to eat now. Okay. Traditionally, we have the knafe with either Turkish coffee or or even any kind of coffee, whoever likes, yeah, or mint tea. Mm. But personally, I like to have it with Turkish coffee. Yeah. Would you like to have some? Of course. Okay. I make so coffee out of it. I cut a piece for you. Okay. And let me know what you think. All right. 
Now I'm expecting you next time to make it for us. Inshallah. God willing. I will try. Inshallah. So it is my favorite dessert, but the reason why Mama wanted to make it is because one of our viewers actually requested knefe um, when he saw that we made the best puse. So if you'd like us to make anything, for Mama to make anything, whether it's on film or even just one of our recipes on our website, cuisines.com, go ahead and just comment below. And let us know what you want us to make. And we'll make for you whatever you want. I want to know. Now look at the cheese. Now try it. Okay. I'm not going to even wait for a bigger piece. I'm just going to go ahead. This is a try one, honey. Try it. I can't promise I won't eat it all. <laughs> Leave some for Batu Bara. <laughs> I'm not going to be for you. Mm. Good. It's really good. It's not too sweet. It's usually made with a lot of sweet syrup. But we don't like things sweet here. I didn't add all the syrup because, you know, if you want somebody... People, some of them likes to add more, some of them likes to like honey and sit, so you can add the syrup on the side. Yeah. It's so good, Bulamo. It's really delicious. Thank you. So my mom makes, every time my mom makes um, knefe in the house, I always tell her it's like Eid, it's like our holiday, because I love it so much. If I could, I would eat it for breakfast. It's really it's so good. But ah, it's really so good. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut you a piece. I'll be nice. I'll cut you a piece. I'll cut you a big piece. I will not, <laughs> I'm not going to leave Hanin to cut it for you. She will cut for you a small one. That's really good. Come on. Thank you. Half one, sahne, we have the coffee. Yeah. I yeah. just like inhaled the entire knaka. I forgot there was coffee. Yeah. So if you like this recipe, please go to stitchingcuisines.com for the full details of the recipe. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, comment and like, and share with everyone. Bye, have a nice day.